Hey guys, it's Kira with Subtle Beauty. Today I'm gonna be doing this super pretty peachy bronzed glowy summer look with my Subtle Stack. So if you want to recreate this look, just keep watching. Welcome back to the Subtle YouTube channel. I'm so excited. We're gonna use some super fun products and some new techniques that I have been trying out. So let's get into it. First thing that I'm gonna do is actually use a dark concealer as a bronzer or like a contour contour underneath my makeup. This really helps you get a sculpted look, but it doesn't make it so obvious that you're wearing contour when you do this first, and then you do the foundation on top of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get into this. I'm using the color Etna. I'm just going to use my finger. When you're contouring, you really wanna find your natural indentation on your cheekbones. I'm gonna go right here. And yes, it does tend to look super crazy, but again, because we're doing this under the foundation, you can also be like pretty messy with it. I like to use a damp beauty blender. I run it under the water, squeeze it out, and then squeeze it with a paper towel. This is the best blending tool. This looks crazy and messy, but it's okay because we're putting foundation over it. Now that we are looking nice and crazy, let's go ahead with the foundation. I like to use the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. My color is Doville, and I actually learned a new hack for foundation recently that makes a huge difference. You put it on the hand first, and then you go in with the Beauty Blender and apply it to your face. It just gives you a much more smooth look. Now, as you can see, as I'm going over the contour, it just blends it in and makes it look less crazy. If you're anything like me, finding your shade of foundation is really difficult because I actually have a more olive toned skin on my neck, but my face is much more red. So it makes it really hard to find my right shade. I've landed on neutral because that's the best way to kind of blend the two, but I've never been able to find a perfect blend because if I match my neck, it's too orange, and if I match my face, it's way too red. Okay, so now that we've done the foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my concealer color, which is Arlington. I like to use my ring finger so that I'm not too tough on under eye skin, and a new technique that I've learned recently is to rub it onto your finger, rub it between your fingers to actually warm up the product and not use a lot and use light layers as you go instead of a ton at once. So you're gonna go ahead and go in and start in the corners and just lightly tap, bring it down the nose. This is a hack I recently learned from TikTok with warming it up between your fingers and really lightly tapping in light layers. That helps your makeup wear better and not crease throughout the day. So that looks pretty good. As you can see, I have super dark veins and circles underneath. So we're gonna do one more layer. Okay, that really covered it pretty well. And then I'm going to go ahead and seal it with the shine control powder. I'm gonna use one of these little puffs that I recently got. Again, another TikTok influence purchase. I have dry skin, so honestly, anytime I've used a setting powder, it just made my under eye cake and crease. Uh, this setting powder is the first one I've used that I actually like and have continued to use because it's so light that I just apply a little bit and it doesn't crease at all. Okay, I just kind of apply it down my nose. While I'm at it, do a little bit to the forehead because we're looking a little shiny. A little bit to the chin. Okay, now that we've done the base, I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick. I like using this Benefit Brow Pencil, but honestly, you can also just use an eyeshadow with like a thin brush if you don't have an eyebrow pencil. Also, am I the only one that has uneven eyebrows? It is really hard to get them even, but you know, I've always heard that eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins, so I'm just gonna go with that. 
Okay, eyebrows are finished. Next, I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow duo. It is so pretty. This is Barely Peach. I'm gonna take the dual-ended eyeshadow brush. This thing is so handy. And then at the bottom of my stack, I actually have our dry brush cleaner. This thing is genius because I'm one of those people that I don't have time to wash my eyeshadow brushes. Like I'm not a makeup guru or really a makeup professional at all. I often just use the same brushes without cleaning them, which is not great. But if you have this, it at least gets the product off in between uses and you can use it when traveling. So if you're short on time or you just don't have the patience to clean a bunch of brushes, you just swirl it around in here and it gets the product off, which is so cool. Okay, so I think I'm gonna apply this one to the crease. This looks like a pretty bright orange, but I actually really love orangey colors as eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply. That's looking super pretty. And then I like to use this brush just to kind of blend it a little bit more. Bring it out into the corner. Gonna add a little bit more. I've actually never used this duo before and I am loving it. Okay, other side. Now for the brown shade, I'm gonna use this dual eyeshadow brush from our four piece brush set. This is amazing for travel. Go into the brown. Just kind of apply it on like more the outer corner to emphasize the corner of the eye a little bit and add some depth. I think this is actually turning out really well. You never know when you start eyeshadow, especially if it's a color combo you've never used before. But honestly, this looks so pretty. And if you mess up with the eyeshadow, you can always fix it. When in doubt, blend it out. I'm gonna take a little bit of this brown color and bring it underneath the eye too, just to kind of blend it all together. And when you're using a lighter brown or like peachy bronzer color on the under eye, you don't have to draw a line or like eyeliner. I don't really like using under eye eyeliner or any eyeliner anymore. So I just kind of bring the eyeshadow down like this. Hey, I think that looks pretty good. I wanna add a little bit of shine. So I'm gonna go in with our highlighter and just add some of that on top. Gotta use that dry brush cleaner again. I'm gonna use this flat brush to apply just a little bit. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna have to go somewhere after this. Like this looks so good. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use this teeny little brush to get into the corner of the eye. Now that we have the eyes done, I'm gonna go into lip and cheek with coral. I'm just gonna use a little bit to start since this color is pretty bright and I'm just gonna use two fingers. Ooh. <gasps> Okay, I actually love this. Don't be scared of this color. That looks really pretty. And then I'm gonna go on the other side. I accidentally got some on the eye, but I feel like it actually kind of works. Next, we're going to apply it to the lips. I am just gonna use my finger to start the application. Tell me why that like looks perfect. <laughs> and I just literally use my finger. I think this might be my new everyday color. Like this is so pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit of original lip balm on the over just for a little bit extra shine. Oh, Lastly, we are going to bronze it up. I'm gonna use this super fluffy bronzing brush and this is the Chai Bronzer. Bringing it down underneath the chin a little bit. Bringing it up on the forehead a little more because we did say this was a peachy, glowy summer look. So I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more lip and cheek up here. Okay, and if we're wanting to be super glowy, I'm gonna go ahead and put the blush on my nose too. 
I'm gonna put some bronzer on the side of my nose, just a little bit as a kind of pseudo contour. Last but not least is highlighter. This is Highlight in Champagne. This highlight is super subtle. Sometimes in the summer, too much highlight can just make you look way too shiny. Uh, so this is perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush from the four piece brush set. And I'm just gonna put a little bit up here, kind of in a C shape, a little bit on the nose. And you can actually kind of set your lips by putting a little bit of highlight on them too. See how that makes it just kind of like glowy. I know I'm just kind of playing around at this point, but I love how I'm just adding a little bit more lip over the highlighter and it's making my lips look bigger somehow. You know, I'm gonna add just like a little more bronzer. Okay, and then there you have it. This is the final look. I am so obsessed. I'm gonna be doing this look like all summer long. It was so fun to play around with. If you guys are interested in the products I use, don't worry, I will link absolutely everything down below. Thanks guys, see you next time.